order myself some pods. Hi, Candace. Hi, Allie. Hi, Georgia. How are you both? Great. How are you? Doing well. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you. You know, with holiday party season upon us, how can we make it easy and fun, and where do we start? I feel like you start a couple days ahead, which means you put up your decorations, you can even set your table. Anything you can do to make it not crazy the day of is so important. Yeah, I mean, I cut up my vegetables the night before. We even pick our outfits before the party, a day or two at least. That way when, you know, you've got the doorbell about to ring, you're not scrambling and trying to decide, does this look good on me? I don't know, you just got it picked out. And what are some top entertaining tips to get people through the holidays? You know, I think really when you're having a holiday party, it's just really put your own spin on it. If you're not very fussy, if you're rustic, throw a party in that way. You know, I think really don't feel so much pressure to have it be perfect. Yeah, we like using other colors than like the Christmassy red and green. So we'll use like creams and silvers and golds and just kind of fun colors like that so mm -hmm. you can really make it your own. Yeah, we also, you know, we're kind of big on the mood. Uh, you know, we really want people to enjoy each other and, and the time they're having. So it's great to have a playlist that you've kind of organized a day or two ahead of time. You can just hit play or rely on an internet radio station that's got some classic holiday tunes uh, that everyone knows the words to. Or if your crowd is more into pop, then throw on some vintage Mariah Carey. Just go for it. Fine. And what's a unique way to end a holiday meal? We love uh, not kicking everyone out, we, <laughs> instead giving them a choice of coffee or tea or even a coffee cocktail. We're really into those right now. Yeah, we're kind of obsessed with our Nescafe Dolce Gusto machines. I use these every morning, but also at all of my parties, I always have this out and I have a bunch of pods to choose from. So, you know, our guests can have a cup of coffee at the end of the night, but they can really choose their favorite and people get so excited. You have no idea. Like this is this makes a great gift too because once people try it they want to get one for themselves but yeah it's great to sit around with a cup of coffee at the end of the night. You know maybe you have a half a dozen people left but you hear the best stories at the end of the night when you're just chill. You know? We have a ton of coffee cocktail recipes. We made one with called the Almond Rum Caramel Latte which is spiced rum and almond uh, liqueur. Uh, that's on our YouTube page. It's so delicious and when you give someone a coffee cocktail they don't mind that you ask them to help them do the, you do the dishes as yeah. well, so it's kind of an it's excuse. a great a great bribery for cleanup. Yeah. But and on our on our YouTube page, um, we make those drinks in under a minute. It's really easy, just quick, quick, quick in the glass. So those are a really, really fun way to kind of add a new twist on an after dinner drink. You know, and many of us will be heading to holiday parties this season. What would make a great hostess gift? Well, one of these, of <laughs> course. Um, you know, but I'm always a proponent for it. shoot a text or a quick call at a time and just say, do you need anything? Because a lot of times, um, you know, the hostess might really need a bag of ice and you don't need to bring a super expensive bottle of wine when she might need something a lot simpler. Yeah, we love to bring also like a, if you want to bring a, a bottle of champagne to pop right away and share so that while the hostess is busy getting everything ready, your guests are relaxing. So it kind of, it helps, it helps set the mood. Mm -hmm, definitely. And do either of you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? Oh, well, you know what? You can find um, a lot of information on these guys at livewithgusto.com. You can find recipes that we've made for coffee cocktails at our YouTube at Allie and Georgia. We are on Twitter and Facebook and all of that. So, you know, just show us a hello. Maybe you'll come to our next holiday party. Yeah, if you have any questions, <laughs> oh. we'll, we'll answer those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> well, thank you, Allie. Thank you, Georgia, so much. I really appreciate it. Happy holidays. Thank oh, you, you, too. too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.